What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Yankster back again with another old school RuneScape video. This time I'm here to show you how to make money crafting battle staves as an Iron Man. As you know, as an Iron Man there are many restrictions placed upon you that prevent you from making a lot of money, such as lacking access to the Grand Exchange and trade restrictions with other players. So this method will serve as a semi-passive income stream for Iron Man on a daily basis. For this method, you will need the following minimum level requirements. Level 56 Magic, Level 54 Crafting, and Completion of the Varrock Easy Diary or higher. At least 105k starting GP. Step 1. Obtaining the Battle Staffs. After completing the Varrock Easy Diary, you will gain access to buy 15 Battle Staffs daily from Zaf in Varrock for 7k each or 105k for 15. With the completion of each level of the diary, the amount of staffs you can purchase per day will double. Here is a table of what you will receive at each level. Step 2. Obtaining Enchanted Orbs To make an enchanted orb, we must first make the unpowered orb. An unpowered orb is made with a glass blowing pipe on some molten glass. Molten glass is obtained by combining sand and soda ash at a furnace. Soda ash is created from burning seaweed at a fire. Sand can be obtained at one of the many locations with a sand pile. I frequently used the Xenophis location or the Yanil location if you did not complete the Lost City quest. Bert in Yanil will also deliver 84 buckets of sand directly to your bank if you've completed the Hand in the Sand quest. Seaweed can be obtained from one of the many shops on docks where you can charter ships. The glass blowing pipe, along with sand or even soda ash directly, can be obtained at one of these shops. You can also obtain seaweed by growing them in the underwater patches of Fossil Island. This method requires the completion of the Bon Voyage quest. Enchanting the Orbs Enchanting the orbs will require you to take the unpowered orbs along with some cosmic runes and their respective elemental staff or runes to one of the two locations that has the water, earth, fire, or air obelisk. The earth and air obelisks are located within the Edgeville dungeon within the wilderness area. So it's a good idea to bring a shield or some food along with you if you're not confident. The fire and water obelisks are located within the Taverly dungeon. You'll need a dusty key to enter that area. Step 3. Creating and Elking the Battle Staffs Once you have obtained both the staffs from Zaf as well as the enchanted elemental orbs, you can combine the two into the elemental battle staff by using one item on the other. You'll gain crafting experience while doing so. Once created, you can proceed with using high level alchemy on the newly created staffs to convert them to GP. Each battle staff will elk for 9.3k regardless of the element. And here is a table of the total revenue you will generate, as well as the profits generated at each diary level. As you can see, this isn't a substantial amount of GP, but it's quite decent for a bit of work per day. I like to stockpile my enchanted orbs so I can quickly purchase my battle staffs from Zaf every day and earn a quick profit. With a large quantity of enchanted orbs in the bank, this method takes about 5 minutes to complete and over the course of a few weeks you'll be a very wealthy old school RuneScape Iron Man. And you've reached the end of today's video, thank you so much for watching and if you found this video helpful please make sure to hit the subscribe button and of course hit the notification bell to be notified of any further uploads. Of course also hit the like button to help this video in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much. Peace out, and until next time, this has been your boy Yangster, and I'm out.